At the start of the pandemic, we heard countless stories of Mainers helping Mainers and providing face masks to healthcare workers facing a shortage of personal protective equipment. Our Sean Stackhouse told us about the group Masks for Maine at the beginning of April, and Sean is back with us now with an update about how this group was able to help thousands. Hi, Sean. Sharon, good morning. When I first told you all about Sewing Masks for Maine, the group had only been around for about two weeks and was already making a major difference. Now, fast forward two months and the group's work has increased tenfold. But according to the six women who organized this group of stitchers, it is much more than just a group of sewers. The humility and, and the self-sacrifice of strangers, for strangers, was humbling and life-changing for me. It's a sentiment shared by the six women behind Sewing Masks for Maine. Their work changed their lives, but the love and care from thousands of volunteers didn't shock them. This is what Mainers do, right? We saw a crisis situation. We knew we had the tools and the expertise to step in and provide something better than a bandana for our health care providers. And provide they did. In less than 60 days, the group created more than 22,600 masks for health care workers. The immediate enthusiasm and like overwhelming response within minutes <laughs> of, of people wanting to jump in was just amazing. More than 2,000 Mainers stepping up to the call to create these masks for health care workers. And just like the women who started the group, these mask makers were all strangers. We didn't know each other. Most of us have never met in person before. This was strictly done during the pandemic when we had to use electronic means to get in touch with one another. Most of us, you know, working full-time jobs from home, navigating the new reality of the pandemic. A lot of us also parenting and teaching at home at the same time. So the time burden was huge um, and it wasn't something we were going to be able to sustain, you know, for much longer than two months. Bringing an end to the coordinated Sewing Masks for Maine group, however, the need for masks hasn't ended and many volunteers will continue sewing, doing what Mainers do best, helping each other. We're really proud of what we were able to accomplish all together. While the official Sewing Masks for Maine group has come to an end officially, many of the mask makers are still continuing their work and are continuing to make these masks. Those will now be distributed to county emergency management agencies for folks who need a mask in the general public as opposed to just healthcare workers. And you can still get involved if you're looking to sew masks. You can visit the group's website, sewingmasksformaine.com, and there you can find drop off locations near you. Live at home this morning, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.